What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. I messed that one up that time. We're gonna start it over. Not even gonna edit this. Just gonna roll with it again. What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about an actor going off and it's so awesome and I love it. So Zachary Levi playing Shazam, and you know when the uh, set photos were released for Shazam, the costume created quite the discussion online, because that's what happens in fandom. The reason we're called fans is because it's short for fanatic. We overreact. We freak out. Every little piece of details and all the details and information, we always take it one to a hundred real quick. It's part of being a fan. It's part of what we do. It's not a big deal. Anybody that's a sports fan, if you watch football like me or basketball, you critique every aspect of the game. Like, I will always critique my team and my, and my favorite players. Well, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? And 10 minutes later, it all worked out. Because we're fans. So anyway, at a recent Q&A, Zachary Levi was basically asked a question about the crap suit. <laughs> Uh, for Shazam and his answer is pretty awesome uh, in a bad way but a, a way where we can talk about it so um, it said however let's see during a recent live Q&A on Instagram Levi was asked why he's wearing a crap suit in the upcoming DC Comics adaptation and he then took aim at negative fans bashing his superhero duds <laughs> Quote, why the crap suit? Wow, okay, well, I don't think it's a crap suit. I think my suit is the fucking bomb, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I know there hasn't been an official... <laughs> I know there hasn't been an officially released photo yet, but there have been incredibly high-quality photos that have been released. And I think any of you people out there who are just hung up on what the suit looks like are just wanting to be angry fans for angry's sake. I think you're very insecure. You're probably dealing with some stuff in your own life. <laughs> And you feel a little powerless, and I'm sorry that you do. Wherever you're at and wherever whatever you're going through, I'm sorry that you're going through that. But I do think, good lord, man, this he's like, bro, I'm going ham. <laughs> but I do think you should probably take a second and reflect on why you're so negative as you are about maybe anything in life. And then re-look at the suit and go, actually, hey, you know what? They're trying really hard to make something that's awesome that pleases a lot of different people because Captain Marvel's been around for a really long time and has a, had a whole bunch of different iterations of suits. So you can't win with them all, but you can at least hope that people will give you a fair shake. For any of you out there that still don't think you've been given a fair shake and don't want to give us a fair shake, well, that sucks for your asmar. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I mean, I can appreciate him just putting it out there, obviously, so I respect that totally. Probably not the best way to approach this, um, but I think it's freaking entertaining as hell, so I, I'm all for it, uh, but yeah, I, I think that uh, he should probably think about the fact that you don't want to piss people off this early on in the process. And uh, there was probably, I, I, you know, I say that we don't need PC and politically correct bullshit. And then uh, you, you see a guy like this who's, who just goes all in. And you're like, man, you know, you probably should have given a better answer. But at the end of the day, we are fans. I'm sure he's been a fan of something. I'm a fan of many things. We all overreact and we all overanalyze every piece of information and every detail that comes out. And that's part of it. And it's part of the journey to the film or the game, or whatever it else, the off-season in sports, anything, it's part of it. We always think about things too much, and that's why people like him get the opportunity to make these movies, and uh, I think that he should probably have a little more perspective on that, but at the end of the day, like I said, I think it's entertaining as hell, and I think it's funny, but as this thing progresses, he's going to have to dial that back a little bit and try to really have a, a bigger perspective on what's going on here because <laughs> that type of stuff is not going to help the situation. Sure, we are reacting to 
uh, set photos and things like that. And they don't look great in a lot of people's opinion. And maybe the official release photos will look better. I'm one of the cl I'm one of the people that criticized Heath Ledger's uh, announcement when he was Joker, and look how that worked out. I was 100% against Gal Gadot when she was announced as Wonder Woman, and I was completely wrong about that. So I mean, it's all about the it's all about the discussion and being fans and being excited and overthinking things. And as long as you can ultimately take a step back, and if you are wrong, admit you are wrong. If you are right own that you were right but at the end of the day this is all fun and games for us obviously there are a few people that take it way over the line but that's going to happen in anything that's humanity and it's always going to be like that but this was entertaining so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it at that you guys have a great day we'll talk to you later